Hi, this is Scott Kilo, CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, this is the next installment in the TID Radio TDH3 operator series. Uh, we're at the initial setup on the radio at this point. In the last video, we, uh, we took a look at turning off uh, things like the beep, the voice, and we worked with the display, so we have a continuous display. The next little detail we're going to want to take care of is another thing that by default the radio is set up to do that uh, you might want to might want to address. Now, a lot of people generically do this when they set the radio up via computer because there's a selection in there that says Roger and there's a little box. And a lot of people um, turn that off. And this is going to be your Roger beep. If you haven't uh, messed with the computer, this thing is going to be sending a Roger beep for you um, by default. So let me show you what that sounds like, okay? So when I have a simplex uh, GMRS frequency here, so I'm going to go ahead and key down into the TDH8, and you can hear what this sounds like. Oops, well, let's, uh, I'm going to pull back just a little bit. Here we go. So it gives that little burst of static at the end of your transmission. Um, now I've had some people tell me that their TDH3 does, so there was that issue with the squelch tail that related to repeaters, and I had some people say, well, it, it does it on simplex with my H3s as well. And when I inquired, it, you, it was usually people bought them in a set of two, and they hadn't touched this adjustment. Uh, and they're thinking that's the same thing. That's not. That's actually a Roger beep because I'm going to change that now. So that's what they call Tone 2 is going to be the default. So let's see what happens when I change it to Tone 1. Now I'm going to do the same thing. You're not going to hear the squelch, but what you're going to hear is something a little different. Okay, that's a Roger beep. So instead of a little burst of squelch, it's instead doing a little beep beep, you know, a little, little Willy Wonka noise there. Um, let me show you how you should have your setup. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go, oh, I'm sorry, Let's select, so that was tone two and tone one. Um, your third selection is off. You're going to click that button and click exit. And now here's what you hear. You hear nothing. That's the sound of silence because it's sending neither a little uh, jiggly tone nor a little burst of uh, static. But if you do have one of those people that says, hey, my TDH3 does that squelch shell thing on simplex, chances are going to be very good that they actually have that Roger beep set to tone 2, and that's why it's making that noise. It, it's completely unrelated to the other issue there. So that's killing um, the Roger beep. Or, hey, maybe you do want to leave it on. Um, <laughs> some people, believe it or not, like the Roger beep. Um, but I will tell you this, and, and I don't really know why this is, so let me show you that tone one again. Okay. You may like the Roger Beep, but I guarantee you 90% of the people you deal with will not, and they will clown you incessantly over it. I, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on it. I actually do not care, but I do know, and I have seen people just completely nut up because someone had a Roger beep enabled on their radio. Again, I don't care. But if you want it on or off, that's how you have it set up. So, with that, I will bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and for listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.